There are calls for change in the Phoenix Police Department after officers held a family at gunpoint when they were accused of shoplifting. Protesters say that's just the latest example of harassment and intimidation. Jeff Pegues is there. These racist cops have got to go. The fallout over the controversial arrest continues today. People chanted that the police should be fired. All I see is a damn murderer. And the same type of frustration boiled over last night in the Phoenix church. You guys have put fear in my life. Police Chief Jerry Williams mostly just listened until she apologized for the actions of some of the department's officers. We are here to come back with this community. We are here to make change. In just the last couple of weeks, the cell phone videos of the confrontation between officers and the young family have surfaced. Prior to that, 97 current and former Phoenix police officers were found to have made questionable Facebook posts which endorse violence against Mexicans, Muslims, women, and criminal defendants. But according to the Plainview Project, which created the database, other departments across the country employ officers who've made similar statements from Philadelphia, Dallas, as well as St. Louis, where the top prosecutor banned 22 officers from presenting cases. And assisting with Late today, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross announced that 72 police officers will be moved to desk duty. We are equally disgusted by many of the posts uh, that you saw. What do you want the city council to do? In Phoenix, B.D. Hernandez has been advocating for police changes. This is how these officers think. This is how they feel. And so when they're on their streets, this is how they're acting. The Phoenix Police Department says that it has launched an internal review of the 75 active officers' Facebook statements. And all of this is unfolding, even though officers here have been taking implicit bias classes. Maurice. Jeff Brigade is in Phoenix tonight. Thank you.